Hi everyone. Uh, this is my second take at this. Uh, my first video was taken down, I think, because of music or something that I was playing in the background. But um, I just wanted to share my room, a uh, tour of it. I don't really get many chances to share it uh, since the quarantine started. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and start. Um, I have this display case here right in the front. I can open it here and turn on the light actually. Um, it's got a couple of my most expensive figures in it. And uh, this is my game room. Uh, I mostly put anime and video game stuff in it. Um, so that's what this one's for. That's what you're gonna mostly see. Um, but yeah, so this is my first dis glass, glass display case. I have a uh, Link, a first four figures Link. I have uh, two Luffy, uh, figure art zero Luffy's there. And I don't know, Chaka Raka up top. Um, so I, I put my most expensive and I guess my most uh, favorite ones in there too. I might do some readjusting. I do have a lot of figures and I'm getting even more in the mail eventually. Um, so I'll probably start putting two on each shelf eventually. Um, Cause eventually I'm gonna have a, a first four figures uh, Zelda to match my link. So I'm excited for that as well. Um, I have a uh, Zelda kind of poster wall here. I have a calendar, a Zelda calendar as well. Um, there's a Wind Waker one, which is probably my second favorite Zelda game. It's definitely the one I grew up with the most. Um, here's a Breath of the Wild one, um, some cute Zelda fan art, a couple of clips. Um, Breath of the Wild's probably my favorite Zelda game. Uh, not super set in stone though. Um, there's uh, some fan art from Breath of the Wild 2 Zelda. It kind of looks like it's from the 90s, so that's fun. Um, and a kind of bootleg Wind, Wind Waker uh, print that I had since I was like a kid. Um, I have some Dragon Quest XI poster uh, here. Uh, it's one of my favorite games on the Switch, actually. It was like totally wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. I have some monuments here. Um, these are places that I've been. Um, I normally get monument, like little mini monuments of uh, places that I've been to. Um, so that's fun. Doesn't really match the rest of the room that much, but uh, I enjoy them. Um, here's more up top uh, of these cubes here, as I refer to them, because it's like these cubes connected to my main desk. Um, we have uh, some of my unboxed Amiibo um, and a couple of my like half boxed ones with a uh, stand. Um, these are fun. Uh, the Mario one's the first one I ever got. Uh, Diddy Kong there is um, the gold one, is one I won in a tournament. Um, so yeah, those are fun. Um, I have a Chun-Li uh, fight stick there. Uh, it's a special one. Um, the fight stick's actually in the box still. Um, I, un I unopened it, um, but I put it back in there. Um, I really like the way the box looks. I got the My Hero 1 Justice 2 for Switch Collector's Edition. I got the box for my Astros. Um, so that's about it for the top of those. Um, in the cubes here, I have the first volume of Demon Slayer. Um, I just really like the art on it. Um, I like the show too, obviously, but um, I just, this is one of the only mangas I own. Um, mostly just because I really like the cover art, so I wanted to display it. Um, just some random stuff in here. Little Usopp Goku figure. Um, my hero stuff. Um, there's the Smash Brothers soundtrack you got from Club Nintendo, I believe, for buying both versions of the game back before Smash 4 came out. Um, my knife collection, I got quite a few in there. I could go over those, but um, some gifts, some I bought, some from relatives. But yeah, I do enjoy pocket knives, so I got a bunch of those. This is just some more uh, clutter type stuff. Um, I got all my Game Informer magazines I've gotten, uh, textbooks from school, stuff I draw in, uh, strategy guides, some of my game stuff there, and a couple of the games I've played recently too. Um, and uh, in here, actually, I have some of my chair real quick. Um, I have all my Dragon Ball card game cards and uh, some Pokemon as well, and there's a binder of Pokemon cards as well. Don't really use those anymore, but um, I still like to look at them every now and then. Uh, here's like what I guess you could call my main setup. Um, not much of a setup, uh, but it's a laptop, uh, which is connected to my monitor there. I have a Soccer Wars wallpaper there right now. It's a game I recently finished. It's really fun. Um, behind it, I have... Uh, my Astro headset, and uh, Switch. Uh, I also have a bunch of stickers on here. It's upside down, but I got a bunch on there that I've gotten over the years. Um, this is a Triforce light. I usually have my PS4 behind that, um, but it's in the living room right now. Um, here's this wall. I have a Chaco 
Uraraka, a bunch of her. It's kind of just her on this wall. <laughs> um, and I plan on getting more of her as well. Um, I do have a couple other characters here on these smaller prints uh, with her, but um, she's one of my favorites, so, and I have like a lot of prints of her because they make a lot of prints of her, so she's on the wall. Um, I got some bead art here that I like of her a lot. Some closer shots. Um, I got a pillow over too. Um, here's my amiibo, but I think we'll get to that in a second. I'll kind of cover the back of my room, like where I entered here first. Um, here's a Demon Slayer kind of towel display thing. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's made out of this like fabric. It's almost like a towel, but um, it's really cool. I got that one at a convention here in Texas. Um, here's a bunch of Fire Emblem Three Houses posters. A lot of them are just uh, class divided. Uh, photos of all of them. Uh, this one, well not photos, but fan art of them. Um, this one is of all the students, or all the characters in the game actually. Um, it's really small, they were out of the big ones, <laughs> but I like those. So it's actually three photos put together. Um, the only one that isn't three houses is this Lin one at the bottom here. Uh, she's one of my favorites as well, the Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance in the States, just called Fire Emblem. Um, th that was my first one, it's also one of my favorites. Uh, here's an Angry Bird that I've had since uh, middle school, um, just to start on the big display, main display case here. Um, he's really soft uh, and large. Uh, he's the only Angry Birds thing I have left, actually, I think, from when I was really, really into it in middle school. I think I think he's all I got left is this big one. Uh, it's a pretty good one to have. Uh, I got a Cappy on top of him. I have the Infinity Gauntlet, uh, moves, lights up, makes noise. Uh, one of my favorite pieces in here. Um, I got the 10 million point headband on top of it too from my hero. Um, so getting onto the figures here, I, on the right I have like One Piece figures um, going from the top uh, to all the way down. Uh, here's a bunch of One Piece pops and it displays on the other side as well as you can probably glimpse. Um, here's some pops I have like one from each series of or they were just a one off. Um, and here's My Hero Pops, some different series My Hero figures. Hard to see there, but they're not the greatest looking ones anyway, so I don't think that matters. There's a more of expensive Ochako figure there. She's probably one of the ones that could be moved to the glass case once I have too many for this shelf here. <laughs> Some more My Hero, some Dragon Ball. Uh, this one I really like actually because it's uh, it came with the special edition of or a collector's edition of uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, um, and it just kind of looks like he's straight out of the manga. It's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but he's got this cool shading on him. It's a good figure. Um, there's some Dragon Ball pops that I got, and some Star Wars Lego figures, and one more Dragon Ball pop. Here's some random Nintendo stuff here. I have some, uh, some Star Fox 64 3D uh, dog tags that I got either through GameStop or Club Nintendo, I can't remember, um, but they're pretty exclusive, <laughs> even though they're not the highest quality dog tags. It's just kind of fun. They come with a nice case. Um, Club Nintendo calendar, which is exclusive. You had to use points through them. Uh, Smash Brothers Pro Controller and uh, Super Nintendo Classic. Um, there's some beat art I haven't put up yet. Um, and some random commissions that I haven't put up yet either. Still kind of deciding to do with the, with the room here. Um, so that's that side, I think. Onto the Amiibo here. Um, it's a really big piece in here. Um, it's like three stacked shelves, essentially. But uh, I have all the Smash Brothers Amiibo, um, which is a lot. Um, they're not all completely boxed, but a lot I have like half boxed like this. Um, because when I was younger, I really wanted to take them out um, and like touch them and look at them like out of the box. But um, eventually I stopped doing that. Um, but the whole time I did keep the boxes still, so I was smart enough to do that. I have all the backs to those in a drawer in my room. Um, but yeah, ever since like a year or two after they started, I kept them all boxed. So I have a whole bunch um, here. So I guess I, should, I could go through each individual cube 
Um, they're all organized by series, so like all the Star Fox ones here, those are a bunch of third-party characters that are in Smash. Fire Emblem, Donkey Kong. Some other Mario ones. Pokemon, Kid Icarus. Some more Fire Emblem. And Mario. It's kind of hard to see Wario and Daisy, but they're shoved back there. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting. I know it's kind of hard to see the amiibo in the back, but I guess this isn't the most detailed tour anyway, so that'll be okay. Like this one in particular is pretty bad. I have all the Shovel Knight amiibo behind me. It's kind of hard to see, but... Some of these bottom ones is where it gets a little more random. There's like the Rob and Ness Lucas back there along with the retro three pack behind all these other ones. And uh, and here's uh, the Splatoon ones. There's Metroid. More Pokemon. The giant detective Pikachu is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> um, there's all the Breath of the Wild ones. Again, kind of hard to see, but they're there. Zelda. So that's all those on that side. I even have the Mario cereal because that one's technically an amiibo. <laughs> uh, all, a bunch of the Animal Crossing ones too. Uh, it's kind of harder to see, but I am running out of space. As you can see, an Animal Crossing amiibo I don't care too much about either, so I can sacrifice some of them being kind of squished there. Um, so next is the billboard here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of charms and buttons on here. Um, in the center is like a drawing of me that someone did at Crunchyroll Expo. So that was fun. And I have like my, some of my favorite characters like around me, the drawing of me rather. <laughs> um, and they'll be in their respective like corner from where they were next to me, and, like coming off of it. So like there's all the Ochako buttons and charms. I have a lot of her, not just because she's popular, but also just because she's one of my favorites. But her being popular definitely helps with <laughs> acquiring a stupid amount of charms and buttons of her. Like Palutena um, is one of my favorites, but this is kind of all I have of her. And that's after like being in multiple conventions and scour scourging like online exclusive like tournament charms and stuff. And that's still like, that's all I have. Yep. Uh, there's some Demon Slayer, some One Piece, and some Phoenix Wright, some of the Nintendo girls on the bottom left here, Starfire. Chun-Li on the bottom there is this commission. It's a pretty radically different art style, but it was one of my favorites. Some One Piece Wanted posters at the top. Uh, this print was signed by Bryce Papenbrook. He's the English voice actor for Eren in Attack on Titan, uh, Kirito in Sword on Online, and uh, he's also in Osuke and Demon Slayer. Um, and he was a really nice guy. I don't normally uh, pay money to like get stuff signed by voice actors. I just like to meet them. But he was, he went so out of his way to talk to me. Um, so I felt the need to buy something from him because he's a really nice guy. Um, Usopp Plush. He's my, definitely my favorite character from One Piece. There's a nice Palutena print, um, along with like a little Krista charm or Historia, I guess. Um, Scribble Showdown poster signed by everyone who was there. Um, they were all pre-signed and you could buy one, um, but that was a really fun uh, live show that I went to in San Francisco uh, when I was still in California. Um, here's a Palutena print, it's kind of a cyborg one, so that's fun. But I see Palutena and I buy it, essentially. Same with Uraraka, as you guys can probably tell by now. Here's a fairy tale wall scroll. Not a show I've finished yet. I'm like about 150 episodes in. Um, but it's it's fun. <laughs> I might rearrange some of those, but the wall scroll was cheap and I got it. Um, I was going, why not? That was what I was watching at the time. Um, here's a big Ochaka Uraraka one. That's one of my favorites for sure. It covers the whole door. Kind of perfect size for it. And uh, it's really fun too. Um, Here's this side of the display case. I guess I didn't get the front either, really. The Zora, Luffy, and Usopp are probably my three favorite characters from One Piece. Um, it's a Metroid calendar there. 
uh, probably one of the best month looking months on there too. The May art is really cool. Um, here's some One Piece figures, some more One Piece figures, that is. More One Piece pops. Some Street Fighter pops. I got uh, more of my hero figures here. Uh, Mount Lady. And uh, here's three of uh, what's almost the same figure, actually. Um, in the middle there, I believe, is the uh, first edition, the first one that came out. Uh, this is the special edition, which is like slightly lighter uh, color, shade of green, and his mouth's like a bit better outlined, <laughs> like pretty small differences. Um, and this is like the third edition, which uh, is the same as the second edition, but he's holding his uh, mask there. Um, there's some Naruto. Another show I haven't really finished, like Fairy Tale, but um, I still enjoyed it, so I have some pops and a couple figures from that as well. Um, it's just a Star Wars lunchbox with old Star Wars train cards I had. Cabbage Man from Avatar. Uh, Spy vs. Spy as well is a, another one that I used to be really into when I was younger. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for that display case. I think we covered everything in the room, so I guess I'll just take one final look over um, throughout the whole room without commentary, and uh, that'll be it. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, this is my second attempt at it, so it is a little longer than the last one, but um, I think that's fine. Um, also the chair I use, I guess I should point out, is a Secret Lab Titan. Uh, I do really enjoy that as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and uh, have a good one.